Hey guys, uh, this is Mohanad, uh, uh, and I will be uh, solving um, um, a homework problem, actually uh, practice exam problems. Uh, and feel free to, you know, watch this video as much as you want, and you can also share it with uh, friends. Um, okay, so this is for chapter three from the quantitative literacy. literacy. Uh, book basically math for modern word and uh, I will try to break down every simple every simple every single problem as much as I can so that uh, you guys can uh, understand what's going on uh, okay question one a function with a constant growth rate is called a linear function because it's a constant growth rate. It's gonna be a linear function. It will be drawn like this, basically. The growth rate is constant, meaning that if I check on this function, at this time, or at this time, the rate, the slope, will be always the same. Question number two. A function that changes at a constant percentage is called an exponential function. And why it's a constant percentage because basically every time you are adding not a constant value but a constant percentage of the previous value so if this is t this is n uh, t0 this is probably let's say a hundred t1 you will have a hundred or five if it's a five percent so you are basically adding five percent all the time this will be a constant percentage number number three a whisper has a decibel level of 20 so this is the decibel level of 20 this is the decibel level for whisper which is kind of the first case a jet engine has a decibel level of 140 so decibel of another uh, entity which is the jet engine is 140 this means so in this question they are comparing the jet engine with respect to the sound intensity of the whisper so they are looking at the sound intensity they're looking at the sound intensity so this means that I have to understand and go back to the book where it relates the sound intensity, relative intensity, which is equal to 1.26 raised to the decibel. Okay. So, how can I solve this problem? This is comparing 20 to 140. So, the, we have in the book, we have if we have a formula that says, let me zoom in so that I have more writing space. If the uh, decibel is increased by t the relative intensity increases by 1.26 raised to the power t so here my t is the difference between these two so t is equal to 140 minus 20 which is 120 that's my t my this is my delta t that's my difference in t so the answer would be uh, relative intensity 2 divided by relative intensity 1 
is equal to 1.26 raised to the power 120. Okay. I'm still new to this. Uh... Okay, so let me get my calculator. So 1.26 is about 120. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a, that's some big number. So you see, you have that's a thousands, that's millions, that's billions, that's a trillion, 1.1. 1 .1. So do I have a trillion? Okay, I have a trillion. So that's 1.1 1 .1 times 10 approximately times 10 to the to the 3 to the 6 to the 9 to the 12 so that's my answer the jet engine has 1 trillion times the sound intensity of the whisper okay so going to number 4 which statement best describes half-life so R in the formula b into 1 minus r power x r is always we said this is the percentage the time it takes for only a half, half only half a substance decaying exponentially to remain which is very correct number computed using the rule of 72 that's nonsense and all of that all statement that's also nonsense okay so let me see if i'm still recording i think i'm still recording okay so we'll continue I hope that my PC does not crash this time so page 2 number 5 we used logarithms for finding earthquake magnitude if you remember there's a pro there's a lot there's a genre of problems for earthquake magnitude finding the decibel value of a sound the decibel and the earthquake relative intensity and Finding a trend line or a regression line, this is linear problems. Finding B in tax problems, tax problems, does not make any sense. Solving equations with variables as exponents, this is it. This is why we, we use logarithms, because if you remember, uh, if you have a number, let's say 15 is equal to 1.20 raised to the power t, this is t, t, a variable and the exponent of the problem. And in, the only way to solve this is by doing log both sides. Remember, I always say, I love this word, log both sides. So this is why we use logarithms for. Moving on, the price of a movie ticket increased almost linearly from 7 to 11. So I have at one point in time, which I don't know when, actually I know one from 2003. So at t is equal uh, zero, meaning 2003, the price is $7. And then in 2013, which is 10 years after 2003, the price is $11. So it increased basically four dollars in ten years. So if x represents the year, so that's x. Let me just just to be correct. That's x. And y represents the price of the ticket. Then which of these represent the slope in this equation? So if this is x and this is y, the slope as we said slope is equal to change in y divided by change in x so that's basically 11 minus 7 and it's an increasing change so the slope is positive 11 minus 7 is 4 divided by 10 so that's 0 0.4 
and again the unit is very important dollars per year because dollars per year change in y in dollars and this is year okay moving on the equation y is equal to 15,000 multiplied by a base my base is 1.12 raised power x represents the price of a model of car that has suddenly pop became popular y is the price in dollars x in, is in the year at one per, at what percent per year so when we see percent in uh, exponential problems they're asking about r at what percent per year the price is increasing so as we know this is rewritten as y is equal to initial value multiplied by the base raised to power x and the base is equal to 1 plus r so in this case r is 1 minus whoops 1.12 minus 1 which is 0 0.12 and this is equal to 12 percent please don't make this mistake that's not the right solution 12 percent a town expects its population to fall by four percent again highlight fall by four percent so without i without continuing i can tell it's one minus r one minus 0 0.04 because r is four percent r is 4% which is equal to 4 over 100 which is equal to 0 0.04 so that's r 1 minus r is 1 minus 0 0.04 0 0.96 so this is my base and again the formula says n is equal to n initial multiplied by the base raised to the power t or x in this case because they already told me x will represent the years so if i want to really do it correctly this is x and my initial is 65,000 because this is my town starts at a population of blah 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 so 65,000 multiplied by 0.96 raised power x so i hope that you guys uh, enjoyed it i I will pause, I will stop, and then maybe continue with other videos. You guys take care. Bye-bye.